Today on Memory Lane, we watch a championship bowling match from the early 1960s between Fred Lenning of Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania and Dick Weber of St. Louis, Missouri. Weber, of course, was one of the nation's top bowlers. Lenning was a late bloomer, not taking up bowling until he was nearly 30. Fred was a Pennsylvanian who had considerable success on the PBA Tour, winning two titles. The format for championship bowling was simple. A three-game match, total pins wins. Weber had a nightmare opening game with five open frames, three splits, a washout, and a miss. His score, an embarrassing 143. Meanwhile, Lenning wasn't faring a whole lot better as he started with an 8-10 and a miss early. But he caught a triple later. In the second game, Weber started slowly again, as he could only muster one strike in the first six frames. Lenning likewise was finding the lanes very difficult, as he opened with splits in the sixth and seventh frames. Fred did rebound to catch a double late. His score, 182. Weber put all his knowledge and experience to work as he finished strong in game two with a four-bagger. Dick's second game score, 214. Weber now trailed by 15 pins with one game left. Lenning started the final game with two opens in the first three frames. Weber chopped in the fourth. The match was virtually even. Then Lenning gets this important double in the fourth and fifth frames to take a 10-pin lead. Weber was unable to find a double of his own as he must be content with keeping pace. In the lead by nine, Lenning goes into the 10th, needing a mark to win. He gets the best kind of mark possible and defeats Dick Weber by nine pins. 